squeeze the tag to the top of my skin. And when I approach the device, it opens the Facebook page I set it to. Colin Provino has a microchip implanted in both of his hands. Some people just look really grossed out. I put my hand up and I let them poke at it and they freak out. Developed in the 1950s and 60s, RFID chips, short for radio frequency identification, have been used by retailers to track packages and prevent theft. Farmers use the chips to keep tabs on their livestock. Pet owners use them to identify their cats and dogs. And lately, members of the so-called body hacker movement have been implanting RFID chips under their skin, programming them to perform various tasks. Colin Corvino, a smartphone repairman in Brooklyn, New York, uses his chips to open his front door. He found them on a website called Dangerous Things. that sells implant kits and offers user tips. I came across it when I was doing research on the Samsung deadbolt that I bought. And then the first thing that I noticed was that I could get an RFID tag that would work with the deadbolt. Corvino plans to modify one of his motorcycles next. And I haven't decided on where I want to put the authenticator, the antenna, thinking probably down by the seat somewhere because this comes off. So I would just tap my hand on it. Then the light would come on as if I put the key in. And then I would just hit the ignition and start the vehicle. RFID retailers estimate that between 30 and 50,000 people worldwide have chip implants in their bodies. German tech consultant Andreas Schostrom used his chip as a boarding pass on a recent flight from Stockholm to Paris and to get into an airport VIP lounge. Skeptics say the implants raise privacy issues and worry that strangers could tap into the information on a chip without the owner's knowledge. Others say potential uses for the technology, such as keeping track of a patient with dementia, could pose ethical concerns. So Crovino and others see a future where technology and the human form will merge. I think when it becomes more prevalent and there's a lot more things and options that you can do with this, that people will, you know, opt in for that kind of augmented human sort of attitude. That's why I have an Android device and not an iPhone is because I want to be able to customize everything I have. So why should I not be able to customize myself?